and we're live. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. On the last episode, we finally got to go out on an actual quest and hunt a well, no, not hunt a monster, but we got to gather some herbs, which was nice. <laughs> so nice. So we're gonna get some more bug nets because I ran out of. Seriously, these things, I, I swear, they break so easily. <laughs> what do you need? Ah, Jeopardy. De Jeopardy. <laughs> Deputy, I have an assignment for you. You need to go to jail right now. <laughs> you see, as a researcher, I specialize in monster data. My reports are a part of the monster list, which you can find in your hunter's notes in the start menu. The monster list the start the monster list displays data on the monster name types and threat level and how many times you've hunted or corruption. It's rather detailed and it includes my reports on their biology and countermeasures against them. I need to check these notes and review them closely for accuracy and missing information. For now, I'll just start to work with a few to look at. I'll have more for you when you check at a later time. Ooh wee. So we've got our uh, hunter's notes as normal. Uh, Monster list, here we go. So, obviously, we've only run into very few monsters so far. Most of them have been kind of basic. I don't recognize this one though. But I think it's one of the cats. One's a gathering type, one's an attacking type. So, Ooh, more people to talk to. Oh ho, I see you finished your first quest. Already hankering to try out different styles and arts, I bet. When you want to swap things around, just visit the items box of your house in the clerk area. Select help while using the items box and you'll need to if you ever need more hand holding on how to use it. <laughs> what a dick. There's just one more thing you have to keep in mind about in clipping arts. Some don't depend on your weapon type, but some do. So for instance, Absolute Evasion and Escape Runner can be used with any weapon. But something as like Ground Slash 1 can only be equipped when you've got a great sword equipped. You really want to be the best? Then find your own niche and equip your arts to match. So, what great knowledge would you like for me to report today? I don't really need much more, but I will come back to you as soon as I do. We're going to go to the Piccolo Ranch. Uh, cause if you remember on the first episode, we put down a request, <laughs> uh, we put down a request for another Piccolo, and having more than one Piccolo means that we can assign Piccolos to training, I believe. <laughs> I believe, if I'm correct, let me see. Uh, Hi Hunter, I've got exciting news, we've just opened the Piccolo Jojo. As a place to train your Piccolos, use an effect- oh, I keep saying- Palicos wrong. <laughs> Use it effectively and your palicos will be ferocious. For are forced to be recent. There will be words that Emma have said in the past. <laughs> there are two ma main menus in, in the dojo. Lessons and special training. Lessons make it possible to take young piccolos to teach it new support moves and palico skills. Special training helps you speed up a Palico's growth and recovery, yeah? To use a Palico Dojo, approach a sign board and to the left and press the A button to confirm. If you need more in-depth explanation, you can always check help. Let me go help. <laughs> In celebration of the Piccolo's Dojo anniversary, you can get some free welcoming points for you. Enjoy! Sweet! Oh. And what do you have to say? Yellow Hunter, or should I that have been yellow? Yeah, yellow. Anyway, I've had to introduce you to the Palico Dojo menu. Intro, in, intro, intro, intro. Anyway, you know the special training option. That's what I'm going to explain. Yes, <laughs> in special training, you'll find an option called change support skills. Start with me. Still with me so far? <laughs> this will. This. This whole. Th there's a. 
There's words that definitely are being explained. There's a whole kit and ca kitten caboodle. No, kitten caboodle? Kitten cat boodle? Ugh. You can do a lot with this option, okay? So, for, for, first, choose a support move or skill. Did I say support, not support? I can't remember. Then the Palico can learn a different support move or skill to replace uh, the one you choose, yeah? What they'll learn in exchange is sort of a um, meowstery. It all depends on the Palico. The more an art... It's more art than science. But if you use a feline codex, you can choose what gets relearned, which is nice. You can change the support moves or skills once per per quests. So choose wisely, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and because it counts as special training, you'll have to spend some welcoming points on it. That's all for now. That's all for meow. <laughs> I like him, he doesn't use too many thumbs. Alright, you can switch- Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I don't have him. Oh. I should be able to get him though. Meowstras! The chief is so dependable, kindly and wise. And he's got such a fatherly, wrinkly old eyes. When I first got to Behirna, he told me so much. All about cheese and how to feed Mufas and such. Not one of the felines I find is a quitter. Have a look and you'll see. Take a pick of the litter. Hey, we did it. Latest, Rocky, Almond, Yama. Let's go with... So it's monotone strides. Go with almonds. Actually, no, I'm okay with almonds. Yes. Now, when we want to scout by ability, we'll go any. And we'll go any. Because I truly, from this point onwards, um, what you pick up as Piccolo's will basically come brought down to who you want to have as your Palico Master Hunters. Um, so what I want to do now is... I want to grab up another Mufa. Kitty kitty cat cats. Kitty kitty cat cats. Kitty kitty cat cats. Kitty kitty cat cats. There it goes. If you can give them to Lovey, they'll um they'll drop scrap to you. It's fantastic. Anyway, not important. Um, our cats look um, almost identical. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, why do I speak in rhymes all the time? It's a curse, Hunter. A curse, and I can't rid myself of it. Oh whoa. Wait, what's this? I'm cured. Am I free of this curse? Oh no, I can feel it. It's just gotten worse. Tell me what kind of felines we'll do. I'll find the piccolo green just for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire uh Yami. Oops, uh Yami uh Latte and no, that'll be it. And we'll also take Sofra. 
Um, and what we'll do now is we'll set ourselves a Meowster Hunter. So, I believe from here we can. No. Maybe it's not here. Uh, let's go speak to. Nico. Have you used your order items, Neil? The items you order must be one you've already seen before, but ordering more will not use up any you already own. Speak to Nico and we shall see. Now he just requests trades. Let's try this out as well. Um, let's get some Nullberry Bar. I don't have enough of that. Oh, no, I do. Okay. So, I believe that should basically. Ooh, we can get some smoke bombs. And we can get some nets from here. That's fantastic. Go for nets. Um, sorry, nets, nets are something that always run out of because you always use them for um, traps, obviously. I swear there was a way to get your Pico Palicos to go on their own quests to get their own items. So, what have they got? Learnt moves. Okay, fair enough. Oh, interesting. So they all have their own unique set of things. That's very cool. That's very cool indeed. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I can take some these. How do I unlock these? Reach level 10. Unlock all people. Oh, I can teach um, water resistance up. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's something we're going to have to look into as well. Very interesting. Uh, that's a dojo. I swear there was a way to have your calipers. Oh, it's this guy. Right, of course. Um, your face. You must be the one whom the chief spoke of. Yes, yes. You wish to be a welcoming hunter. This information center for the true and proud monster hunters from our balloon will scour the land. We carry the hopes and dreams of each and every palico, but no, they are not ready to depart yet. First, you must prove your abilities. Yes, after some problems in the past, we have learned to be slow to trust. When you're ready, then I will teach you of the Meowster Hunters. Until that time, I leave you with, to the chief's request. Until next time, great travels. I see, I see. So we're not quite at the level where in which we can send our Palicos off to basically hunt items for us. Um, that's That'll be later down. So now I've learned that's fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on another gathering quest, I think. Let's um or shall we do a training mission? Training missions are fantastic because you get to basically face up against the monster. Uh um, a fungi hunt. Cool. No, no, we'll go out into the field again. We just need to deliver three dragon amulets, which means we get a mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just go for gold, I think. 
Yeah, one of the things that you gotta also keep an eye on in this game is your master hunters, which don't unlock for a while, but um, basically they go out and they hunt things for you. It's fantastic. Uh, they get their own equipment though. Basically, they they go out, they hunt for you, but they hunt, to get scraps so that you can make equipment for your piccolos. Sweet. Thank you kindly, sir. What else do you have? Oh, pickaxe. Wonderful. Very useful. Uh, I don't think he gives three. I think he only ever gives two. Yeah. So that might not be the case in the future. But yeah, he always just gives you free stuff. I don't know why. He's just a kindly old man, I suppose. Again, this is the same environment, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to go straight for the objective, and we're just going to go get ourselves some mining done. Instead of running around and showing off the areas and whatnot, <laughs> while also rambling to myself. Um, yeah, no. I believe most of the good mining is in the lower areas, so... 3, 10, 9, 11. I know have some mining stuff. Yeah, that was right. Leave. Oh, this is a good hole. There's like three here. A crystal iron ore. Wonderful. Now, in this one, it is super important to remember to mine whenever you get the chance. Uh, in in hunts, if you think you're going to have more than enough time in a particular hunt, if, if you don't think the monster's going to give you a challenge, then instead of, you know, just not doing anything, just going to hunt the monster, it might be better to just mine. I, I do, because I find myself quite often running out of material, basically, for, for weapons, and sometimes they're just like super basic stuff. I'm just like, the only reason I don't have this is that I don't bother to mine. So, friendly tip for all you budding adventurers. Don't put off mining because it's, it's not something you want to do. Just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. I Truly, you won't. Uh, let's go to eight. I think we're almost done already. I've already got two. Fantastic. Yeah, so just like in Montana World, I don't want to make these episodes too, too long, as I know that those can get a little tedious to watch and whatnot. So I hope, I hope to keep these numbers down, but I also hope to show off as much as I can while recording. So I gotta find that balance as how much people want to see to how much I want to do. Why no, it's not that. I love Monsanto, so I will play this for literal hours. <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking is, again, I might end up doing it the way that we do our main Monsanto, is that if you've seen it before, there's no real much point in you seeing it again. So I'm not sure how I'm going to balance that. Because <laughs> it could be like, oh shoot. I was trying out this weapon and it's incredibly, insanely amazing against this particular guy that we just versed and I, I want to show you how good this is but I have to do the whole ass hunt again <laughs> or whatnot so... <laughs> um, yeah, again because obviously I'm a fan, I don't care if, if I spend an hour hunting monsters and just speak a little bit, or if I, if I spend the whole time rambling on and just enjoying the hunt with you guys and basically just going and doing, really. It, 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 it makes me happy either way. So, again, down in the comments would be the best way to show uh, you want to see more and more, or just leave me a like on the video if you don't feel like typing. Because those kind of things, they show that there's an interest here for me to, to really push out a lot of videos and I can I can do a I mean a lot.
so I hope you guys do want to see more of this and I hope I hope I hope I can keep it interesting and fresh for you guys because th that's something that I want to achieve myself I, I, I want to make this game as fun and as interesting as possible so that you find it fun and interesting and maybe just maybe there'll be a hunt for you out there yet <laughs> anyway I'm gonna call that an episode because I've been rambling too much and this this I don't want to make this video too long. So we'll cut it there and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye!